Vermont education policy says that students can play sports and use whatever locker room corresponds with their gender. But some members of the Randolph girls volleyball team say that they object to having one of their transgender teammates use be in the room while they change. I spoke to one of the girls. It's a huge thing. Everyone's asking like, so why aren't you allowed in the locker room? Like high school student Blake Ellen and her teammates are currently barred from using the locker room after some of the girls on the team objected to allowing a transgender player in the girls locker room. My mom wants me to do this interview to try to make a change. Ellen says the dispute started when the trans student made an inappropriate comment while members of the volleyball team were getting changed. She says her issue is not with having the trans student on the team or at school, but specifically in the locker room. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Uh, get the merch link in the description section. We got all new merch. We still got $10 shirts and $25 hoodie sale. We're trying to get the inventory out. This is your chance to get some of your favorite products for the low, low. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. I, I got this news clip that Nick sent to me at the break. And, and, and I'm completely dumbfounded and perplexed at what I'm reading. I can't believe, I just cannot believe that this headline is true. And according to this headline, it says biological female volleyball players banned from locker room for feeling uncomfortable changing with a transgender teammate. Now I'm gonna read the article to you. It says what, what happened when a high school biological female speaks up and says that she's not comfortable with biological male, a biological male changing with her in a locker room. In this case, uh, a Vermont high school, uh, the local school officials reportedly decided that they'll settle the issue by banning the use of the locker room. According to WCAX in Burlington, Vermont, it was a dramatic, it says drama erupt this season as a biological, as biological females from the Randolph High School volleyball team uh, when a biological male made inappropriate comments while changing with the biological females. If the station reported that parents and athletes raised concern with the school and that when the wheels, and that's when the wheels of the transgender movement begin to roll. I'll continue to read. The biological females were the problem according to the school policy. An email was sent out to the families explaining Vermont law. The email stated that there is plenty of spaces, this is in quotes, that there is plenty of space where students who feel uncomfortable with the law may change in private. And, and you heard this right. It says, if you're a biological female who don't feel comfortable changing in a locker room with a biological male, then a, you are the problem, and it's you that needs to find a place to change. It is very similar response to the issue raised by the University of Pennsylvania, a biological female uh, who were told to share a locker room space with Leah Thomas. It goes on to say the biological female, uh, uh, Blake Allen, uh, a member of the volleyball team, says that she was encouraged by her mother to speak out about the situation to make a change. While nothing she does, uh, by, by noting she doesn't want biological men changing with her, is what she said. Now, there's a lot more to this article. I'll put it in, 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 the, uh, in the description section somewhere. You can find it on when I make the YouTube video later. Uh, you can find it in the description section. But... It's, it's, it's asinine to me that we've gone this crazy in our country. It, it, it blows my mind. I, ca I just can't believe it. I can't believe we're here. You got a, you got a dude running around dressed like a girl with a wang hanging out. And, 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 and that's supposed to be totally fine. And then he goes in the locker room, make an inappropriate comment to women. And y'all supposed to be all for women's rights. And then you, you say every woman's supposed to leave the locker room. He get the change. They got to stay. I mean, he get to stay, they got to leave. It's asinine. Hold the, hold the phone, I'll be back after the break. Welcome back to the Austin Tatum Show. I want to finish the conversation I was having about that uh, uh, volleyball player or the volleyball team. If they don't like the fact that a, 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 a man got his jangling hanging out and, and want to act like he's a girl to be in a locker room with young women, that they all need to leave the locker room just so he can change by himself. I, I swear to God is my witness. I'm so sick of this stuff that it's, it's literally driving me crazy. It, it makes me want to act out, right? When I say act out, it makes me want to go to these places and protest them. Have my sign, protest out there like the hippies. 
get me a trailer and stay out there and protest them every single day till they do something different. There is no way in the world we should even be having this conversation at this point. Why, why do you hate women? I do not understand why the same people that claim to be champion, wimp, championing, championing women, championing women, I can't see you say the word right. They are the same, they're the same ones who are putting women in a poor position. Leah Thomas is a man. And in his deranged mind, he feel like a woman. That's fine. You live in America. You can feel like chicken noodle soup all you want. I don't care. Nobody should care. But no, you can't just feel like that. You need the world to see you like that. You can't just admire swimming. You have to thwart the rights and the abilities and accomplishments of other women because you decide to be a woman this year. I, I, I don't understand. America, where, what are we doing at this point? What are we even doing? You, a man, he, he, he want to be a woman, quote, unquote, for the 30 minutes. And everything women have built their whole life, he just can wipe it out. Dude was getting his ashy elbow kicked, swimming as a man, coming to the women's thing, and he's number one, breaking records. You know it ain't fair. I, I, God is my witness. God is my witness. I don't have a daughter, but if I had a daughter... And I went to the school, and they, they, first of all, if they let a trans person in the locker room with my daughter, I'm going to go to that school, and people will be crying when I'm done ripping their ashy elbows. I'm going to rip them to shreds verbally. They will be crying when I'm done, or I'm going to be going to jail. One of the two is going to happen. I would never allow this to happen to my children. Enough is enough. It's okay to be inclusive with people, but you can't be so inclusive that you thwart other people's rights. Young, one, young women who are playing volleyball, they have the right to be safe and feel secure in a women's locker room. And then the person apparently made a, made a, a comment that was off-putting, which made young women feel uncomfortable. And it's just one person. Tell him to take his butt into the unisex bathroom and he can change in the bathroom and the other female teammates can change like normal. You want to be different, then you're going to be different. They're willing to kick every woman out the locker room for one person. You can't You can't make this stuff up. You, you can't make it up. I, I just it, it, They're driving us to, to begin to hate one another. Because I honestly feel like people are in the, in the mode of live and let live. But when you keep thrusting it, it just it, it makes other people begin to resent you. And then the resentment turns into hatred. Hatred turns into violence. It's like, do you want to get people hurt? Then you should not be creating resentment and resentment turning into violence. And the violence in the mind turns into violence in reality and people die when that happens. And I'm telling you, they're pushing people to the limit, man. They're pushing people to the limit, just like race relations. You say, oh, poor black people. Oh, well, you know what? Since you're black, you get to go to college for free. Or since you're black, you get you don't have to pass the entry exam. And then that creates envy and frustration and animosity. Because the white kid that came from a poor background, it's like, I'm poor too. How do I not get an opportunity? Oh, you just let the, I wasn't alive when people were racist. I'm alive now and you're discriminated against me because of the color of my skin. Then there becomes resentment, resentment turning to hatred, hatred turning to violence. That's exactly what happens. And they, and they know that's what happens. They want it to happen.